morning, love. It's going to be a great day and a great week. I'm your host, Arielle Chanel, and I'm back with another episode of Good Morning, Love. And I'm glad to be here. You know, it's my favorite time of the week. And this week, as promised, I told you guys in the last episode, had something special for you. I have with me my best friend, Vanel White. This is a kind of crossover episode. Vanel is the host of This Joy blog on YouTube and Instagram and all those great things. She's just an overall great person. And since she talks about joy, I talk about love. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get started with gratitude. You know that's how I love starting the week. And I'm actually going to switch it up and I'm going to have Vanel start with what she is grateful for. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be here. I am honored that I am the something special. I don't know how to feel about that. I would cry, but my lashes, you know, I don't know if they go strong or not. <laughs> but anyways, I think that, um, I think what I'm most grateful for, obviously, is the relationship that brought me to you today. And that is the relationship that I have with my BFF. I like to think that I'm like that BFF that knows all the other BFFs, but you know, what, what do we got? We got like 30 years on them. We don't have to say how many over 30, but we got something like that. Yeah. So, something like that. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm grateful for today. See, that's perfect. That's why I had to go first because I was like, I'm grateful for Vanel. <laughs> that's what I'm grateful for. My best friend. She already said it. We've been in this for Actually, technically it's like 20 something years. Is it 20 something? Yes, 20 something. Because we were probably what, like eight, nine? Like that? Yeah. No, it was mm, maybe a, a it's still years. probably around there. We were like seven. It's it's twenty something. Yeah. Higher than twenty-five. Higher we, than, don't higher get than 25. Into, we don't have to get into the details. Higher than twenty-five, close to thirty. You know. Somewhere around there. We were young whippersnappers when we first met. Vanel, can you let the people know how how we met because it's just it makes sense for um, um so, so yeah holy tabernacle church is the church that we came from that is my grand was my former grandfather's uh church that he founded bishop joel smith and um after we joined that church from another church of course i had to join the children's choir and so they asked me what section do you sing and i said i think it's soprano and they said okay stand next to aria and i said hi are you aria she said yeah i'm aria i said i'm vanilla she said hi nice to meet you and that was it <laughs> that's all she wrote we've been that's standing all- with each other forever forever <laughs> That is it. That's all she wrote. It's the funniest story to me because it just, if you know us in real life, it just makes sense. Like, hi, I'm Vanel. Ah, I'm Mario. All right, cool. Like it. Like it. Love it. Love and it. That's- let's let's keep going. Let's, <laughs> let's do this thing. And the funnier thing is, Vanel, how long were you in the choir? <laughs> that might have been my first and last rehearsal. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> so, yeah, Vanel was like never really in the choir like she came and was like i'm over it i don't know why you didn't oh but then like when we got back into like the youth choir then i guess we we you know i don't know what happened i don't know i just remember so vanelle would go as she said they were members at another church as well so they would so and that might have been it too it might be a lot of back and forth a lot of back and forth your dad having to do things Mm -hmm. here and there so it just kind of didn't work out but whenever vanel would come it was like vanel's on the way like vanel's here that's it like (laughs) my roll dog's here and we would just go and chat it up like we children don't do what i did be committed please <laughs> it wasn't your fault like you it wasn't thank you that's what my children, best friend should say children of, it was children of the 90s like it wasn't mm-hmm. even like we had cell phones so we couldn't call each other you know to be like hey i'm gonna be at church are you gonna be at church like it just was a natural friendship like whenever vanelle would come it was like my girl's here like we're riding, we're doing this. And then, you know, as we got older, 
it just that's what it was like that's Always my best has been that way because you know i even think about like when we went to college there would probably be days or weeks where we wouldn't speak to each other and then when we saw each other it was like we never missed a day and it's always yeah. been that way and i appreciate that i love that yeah i love that for us. exactly like even now so for those who don't know vanelle does not live where i live anymore which is why we're doing this over zoom There's she now. has spread her wings and I want to be sad, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I I don't feel bad for it. Like, if I were you, I would be like, you know, yeah. Like, I'm happy. I hate that you're not here, if that's a good way to put it. I hate that yes. you're not here. Exactly. I hate that I'm not there, too. But I love my life right now. I love what's going on in my life. Wonderful. So, let's, let's pause for a second. And you, you are know, where God has you at this present. At this present. Okay? And nobody can fight that. No, I would just like, matter of fact, I might have to petition heaven that he released some more of my friends. How about that? You know, I've, I've petitioned heaven and I got a rejection letter back. <laughs> they said, it was yeah. just I, I <laughs> they, thank you for your inquiry. However, at this time, you can have a seat. That's what I was told. So. But neither here, that's neither here nor there, you know, mm -mm. it's okay because we're all doing, we're doing great things. So tell the people a little bit more before we, we go to too, too deep. Cause we're going to come back. We're clearly talking about our friendship in the many years and, and different stories, but I do want people to know a little bit more about you before we go too far, because Again, when you have years in the game, like you can just cut up and then forget that it's not just the two of us. There actually are people that are listening to this. Right, so. listening to us. Um, you want me to speak about myself? Okay, so I am a church kid, to be specific, a PK. Um, as Ariel said, I am a singer, lover of music. Uh, I am a somewhat of an eclectic being, I like to think that of myself Ariel can check me and be like no um but yeah so born and raised in Boston and most recently decided well not necessarily decided I've always wanted to have an experience outside of Boston I'm I've always been interested in traveling and that sort of thing I want to live outside of the country but we're praying about that but for now <laughs> I'm currently in Georgia and that that was a decision that I made last year last year June after you know praying to God asking him you know God you know this is one of the desires of my heart this is something I wanted to do and after a, a visit to to Georgia um I fell in love and I, again once I left there I was praying I'm like Lord I like this place you know let me just test it out and Right after that, things just kind of fell into place. And so I, I I was like, okay, God, I see you. Give me this opportunity. <laughs> Even if he's like, all right, I'm going to let you get this out your system and you're going to get it together, which prayerfully, that's not where he wants me to go. But um, but yes, and so um, I, that's another thing that I'm grateful for, that God made a way for me to do this, um, to leave Boston and to have a job where I can work from home and travel as much as I want. So God has really just been really, really amazing. He's been so faithful to me and I'm truly, truly grateful um, for where I am today. I think that's all I have to say about me. I don't think I want to talk about myself anymore. <laughs> I don't think I want to talk about myself anymore, Ariel. Okay, so before we before we move on and we keep talking about other random things, mm -hmm. this joy blog. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about this joy blog. Well, I'm gonna be a hundred and fifty percent honest with y'all. I am not consistent with with this joy blog as much as Ariel is, and I love to give Ariel kudos because she is just so committed, and I I honestly <laughs> it motivates me um, to do better. But this joy blog was kind of birth out of several things. One, um, I am generally the person that likes to just laugh too much. Um, amongst all of my friend groups, I laugh too much, whether it's appropriate or not. And I probably laugh the loudest. Like I just, I love jokes, I really do. Um, 
And because of that, I was visiting some family and I was up late laughing and joking with my cousins. And my uncle said, you know, it's almost as if you were misnamed. You know, they probably should have named you Joy. And I thought that that was funny, but it, it stuck with me, right, forever. And so I kind of just always been been a, a, a guiding, uh, I don't know what you want to say, guiding influence that I want to just make people smile. I want to make people happy. I want to be that person that whatever is happening in their day, at least somebody smiled at them, at least somebody gave them, you know, something to joke about. Um, but of course, you know, when serious and I need to support and, you know, speak into people that that always takes place too. But what better way to do that than to share the joy of the Lord, you know, um, because as many of us know, first of all, if you did not know, me and Arielle, we're churchy kids, but we're also churchy kids who got saved and have a relationship with the Lord. So as much as we want to joke around... Y'all gonna get this word. Anyways, so we do know by just by life experiences living on our own that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so I have desired to share that with people, whether it's through singing covers, making funny TikTok videos, which I'm really not good at, um, or just sharing a kind word. And so I'm still, I do that better in person, trying to do that online. It's kind of also scary. I think that's probably why I don't want to put myself out there because the internet is a scary place and people on the internet are a little scary. But um, but yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. So so yeah, um, that's this joy blog in a nutshell. Nice. I love it. You already know how I am super supportive of everything that of my you inconsistent know. platform. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I don't judge. Everyone here knows like I can I'll I'll be on it as best as I can and then life happens. Life happens, okay? So. I, I I have ideas and it just be like yeah. <laughs> no. Life. Like I'm excited that this is going to actually be able to go up as a video this time and I thought that I was gonna have more videos, but then the whole setup that I had, and like you were saying, mm -hmm. with you know the direction and moving, and how God will be like, you'll be like, okay, I'm in my rhythm, and then God will be like, that's cute. Now I'm shifting you over here. And now it's like, here's what we're doing, actually. Yeah, yeah. Wait yeah. a minute, and it, it, it does sometimes. There was a monkey wrench into your plan. So you've had a lot going on. You've moved. You're working and living somewhere else, and being essentially on your own mm -hmm. in this new space we don't fault you here thank you we i appreciate that you. yeah we I appreciate that you. but you're my best friend and the rest of the world probably like Let's... no see okay, like, okay. you know the the community here the community. at good morning <laughs> love like i appreciate y'all all know. things lovely all things good we don't do that here i love that i love that thank As you Chattanooga, this is a safe Chattanooga. space is that what you're trying to tell me? This, this is, is a safe space. Thank you. Safe space. So if you, I guess we can say, if you were to have a goal for the end of this year for this joy blog, because I know that you said it is scary and it's like, ah, oh, the internet is scary. Like what's something that you, one thing you want to accomplish this year with your blog? Um, let's say, okay, okay. <laughs> So I guess I have like two, right? Let's say there's a more, I don't want to say materialistic or tangible, but um, one of the things that I wanted to do is um, I really just, what, I, I, I can't even give you that a goal like that I'm like, oh, I want to have a hundred thousand followers or I want to, like, that's not it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally get excited when people laugh at the video. Like, that's that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and maybe that's why I might be inconsistent because if I put up a good video and people laugh, I'm like, all right, I'm good for the month. That's a good, that's a good laugh. Y'all are good for the month, you know? Um, but, um, what actually I do have one thing that I said I want to do more of which you know although I'm singing with the praise team at the church that I joined I don't I haven't 
in the transition phase, I was not singing enough. I think I was had like three or four months where I wasn't singing anywhere, you know, participating in the worship at services, but um, it has bothered me a little bit. And so I think one of the things is I've tried to force myself to start putting more videos of me singing. That also is because I don't like to hear my own voice sometimes in the videos. So that's kind of a struggle because who's going to edit and like, you know, because I hate seeing it. I just want to do it and just like let somebody else kind of thing. But um, one of my goals is to be more consistent with uh, sharing my gift, which is that of singing. And we should have practiced the song, Ariel. But you know how hard it is to do stuff over Zoom. Exactly. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. But it's okay because for those who have never heard Vanel sing, for those that have not heard us sing together, I will insert a video, a clip of us singing on Christmas. <laughs> not right now. I'm not ready. I don't want to. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll insert a clip of us singing from Christmas. We mm -hmm. were able to sing together over Christmas break for a Christmas service at my church. Yeah. So I'll be able to enter a clip of that because that's one thing that we love, love we to do. There, there's like five really good things. There's one, it's just like complaining about life, right? And then two is just talking about the joy of the Lord. And then three is just like singing together all the time. And then four, talking about how can we be together more often? And then five, obviously like boys and stuff, but like... <laughs> Boy, boys and stuff we do we oh talk about God. we talk about boys and stuff a lot if you didn't know we are <laughs> we are we are those kind of girls we're girly girls in private <laughs> in private mm. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, you're not serious continue continue moving on like, but yes we enjoy singing together we do I thought I was going to be the problem here. It's you. So, <laughs> so talking about the different things that we like to to talk about. We'll move out. I enjoyed your answer. Making people laugh. So you want to make people laugh more this year. I just want to get joy and lighten up things because it's stressful out here these days. Very. Very, very, very. This There's too much going on in the world. We... We talked about that and you know we let that we let that go so in talking about the things we enjoy doing and the things we enjoy talking about let's let's go down some uh memory lane here with some of the things that we get into because we have gotten into a lot of stuff you or me i said we we <laughs> we not bad i'm not saying bad you know it's not it's not bad like good things like we've we've gotten into a lot of different things we've done so many different things together and i just wanted to talk about some of the stories of like memories that we have because yeah. in talking about starting the week off on a good note sometimes it is good to laugh at things yeah have happened. oh you need it oh you absolutely need it especially on a monday morning Come especially on. on a monday and the yeah. first one that comes to mind this one always comes to mind so oh my my brother that is right above me mm -hmm. lives in another state as well. He lives in North Carolina with his wife. Mm -hmm. And he got married in North Carolina. So mm -hmm. Vanel and I shared a room for the wedding of my brother <laughs> with his dear wife. Oh my God, God. what is it, the, uh, It's in the South, okay? Okay. So it's nice. The weather is nice. When the weather mm -hmm. is nice, you go and you get in the pool because come on. Like we live in, well, <laughs> I live in New England. Vanel at the time lived in New England. Like we don't get nice weather like that. No, oh, we don't. So we take advantage when we can do things like go and get in a pool. And it was hot. And it was hot. So we are on the way to get in the pool and one of the people in the hotel, mm. another guest, this mm. older gentleman. Uh-huh, yeah, you're remembering now. <laughs> this older gentleman 
for some reason had us clocked. And every time we would come out to go to the pool, he would open the door and be like, you ladies going for a swim? And then just so happened to show up at the pool. I cannot really swim. I'm not the best swimmer in the world. I'm just at the place where I cannot die when I get into a body of water. Yeah. But this man would like come and try to, and I know people are probably like, why are you telling this story? Just bear with me. So he would come and try to like be in the pool with us and like swim around us. And I think he tried to like give us hugs and stuff. It was bad. So the last time he came in the pool, we saw him coming and one, I jump in the deep end, like jump in the deep end where Vanelle is. And she's like, Aria, what are you doing? You can't swim. And somehow made it across the pool to where she was so I could be away from this guy. And then we start singing Negro spirituals. <laughs> and the guy left us alone. Like after that, he, he went away. But I had to share that because these are the kind of situations we seem to find ourselves in all the time. How did you even remember that? Because all I can remember- like, as you can talk, because I can remember now, we come out of the hotel room, you take the left, you gotta kind of pass the lobby and the pool is on the right hand side. Yep. And then we made friends with the people who worked at the hotel. Because again, that's just the type of people that we are. Like we make friends with to this day people. to the yeah to this day friends with, with those people mm -hmm. to this day still like i see your life you living it up you're doing a good job happy birthday like all of that but we're trying to flag one of them down because there was a big glass door and we're trying like, to like save us. yeah like save, our soul. save us and he's walking by and he's just waving at us like oh Have a great hey, time. I can't and I really thought, I was like, this is it. This is where life ends. <laughs> We're done. We're going to get kidnapped. It's over. This is the end. <laughs> Here we are, North Carolina. Just, this is how life ends. <laughs> this is how it ends. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. That is crazy that you remember that. Nope. That, there's so, there's so many. Like, that's one of the ones that I remember um, us going to Mississippi for the for Arthur's graduation. Oh. oh my gosh. That was our first. Well, okay, no, because I mean, I went to Chattanooga. That was country in the 90s. But that was <clears throat> as a young adult that could remember vividly. I was like, where am I? What was we was like? What are we gonna do? What's what's there fun to do? You wanna go to Super Walmart? Oh. Everybody down at Super Walmart, like, all right, get me back on this plane, child. I'm ready to go. That was crazy. That was crazy. Realizing that that was when I was like, yeah, I'm gonna well, go look at me right. now. Look at me now. In the south. In the south. Could you imagine? At the Super Walmart. At the Super That's the thing. He was preparing me. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. I could yeah. go, I could go on and on. On and on about the nonsense. I won't. I will <laughs> the rough things. Oh man. I will I will, I will spare the people of of the craziness. Of the craziness. Your I think you should take a moment to say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> no, yes. For real. Like, God, thank you. Because we it could have been easy. We just found ourselves like in like, Outdoors. what's going on? <laughs> it was too much. Your, your mother would always tell me, she'd be like, Aria, what are you and Vanilla up to? I'm like, what are you talking that, about? That She's like, I know y'all up to something. Always. What do you mean we're up to something? We finally got hit like around college. Like, okay, see what y'all up to. I see what y'all up to. Right? Like, like which up. didn't make any sense how she could like figure that out because we always 
we always hung out anyways but she was just like there's a different level a- of hang out when y'all are up to no good <laughs> you know that part i don't um, know you just so happen to mm-hmm. i always know like hmm, ariel's here again mm-hmm. what's going on <laughs> good times though good times Bye. <laughs> I promise. I promise. We weren't. We were like our good times, and I've I've learned this in life. Like everything is in perspective. Yeah. Because again, we were very responsible young people. So that's true. If we would change Probably half of the things, very mature. Into, I would say actually, I yeah. think we were on the mature side of life. Yeah, I think. I don't know. So Maybe some like, in, but things we were doing, it's like other people would be like, that's not crazy at all. But for us, we were like, woo, we're walking <laughs> on the wild side. No. Yeah. No, you're not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> woo, we're going to be responsible and, and go on double dates with boys. Like, to make no. sure we don't get in any trouble. Like, okay. <laughs> oh, you're going out. To the drive-in movies with your youth group. Your youth group. Wow. <laughs> you have a wild time, guys. So wild. We're gonna go to the ice cream farm and we're gonna get all the ice cream. We're not oh. just gonna get a small, we're gonna get a large because that's why we that's why I'm the way I am now. <laughs> we're walking on the wild side. <laughs> <laughs> so we did I know. I know, Father help us. Don't do that. Don't don't go to the farm and get a large. Be don't respons- don't do it. Be responsible. Get a small. Please, please save yourself. Save yourself. But no, we we did. We had some some really good times. We had how many different? We were able to travel together a little bit, quite a bit. Mm-hmm. I would say mostly. We haven't okay. done an international trip yet. No, we have not. But we're doing one in August, aren't we? <laughs> we are! I forgot. Shout out to Cooperville. The Co- other Cooper. The other Cooperville. Because there's already one Cooperville. There's already one of those. But, I mean, technically, no, they're they're not Cooperville. Cooperville. But they want to be all Cooperville. Then I don't know. But no, it's Coop. I don't think it's like Coop. Coop. It's just Coop. Mm-hmm. Shout out to our friends who are hosting a lovely event in August so yeah it will we finally get to add international travel to our bucket list travel I'm looking forward to it I am have you been to Mexico before never this is actually my first time okay me too it's first on the list I have name all of the places where you've been me yeah so when okay Vanel says she likes to travel like, and traveling is something that she loves to do. She needs it. Like, when Vanel got her permission to go, she went. And I would turn around and be like, Vanel, where are you? She's like, Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. What do you mean you're in Puerto Rico? <laughs> um, but yes, list, list all of the places. Because you've been I'm to... I'm going to list the places and the reasons why. So, my father's from Montserrat. So, I think I've been to Montserrat twice, but I've always been too young to remember. So, that's a place I need to go back to. I've been to Barbados on vacation. I lied. I've been to Bahamas on vacation. I've been to Trinidad with our church. I've been to Puerto Rico like three times, four times now, because that is one of my favorite places. I swear if I could ever, I would buy an apartment or a house down there. I love, love Puerto Rico. Um, I've been to the places in the US. I've been to Canada. Um, doesn't matter where I've been in the U.S. Not really. Um, I've been to Iceland. <laughs> I've been to London. I've been to Barcelona. I've been to Dubai. I've been to France. I specifically Marseille. Marseille. I should know that after studying French. Um, in Italy, I've visited Rome, Pisa. Sorrento. There you go. I think 
Yeah, I think that's it. I've not been to any Asian countries, no South American countries. Looking forward to traveling to Africa, even though it's very expensive. Um, I, yeah, that's one of the places I'm looking forward to going to is, is Africa soon. Is that next? Is that next? I really want it to be. I really want it to be next. Um, so I, I just got to be prayerful because I, I need that. I need that to happen sooner than later. Yeah. And it's hard because it's like Africa is so huge and there's so many different countries that you can visit and each country has various cultures. So it's like, do you want to go to East Africa and then East Africa? Are you going to Eritrea? Are you going to Ethiopia? Are you going to Rwanda, Tanzania? Like what? Are you going to West Africa? Are you going to Ghana? Are you going to Senegal? Are you going to Nigeria? Big ups to my Nigerians. Eh? Um, yeah. And of course, South Africa is beautiful. And I have some dear friends in Botswana as well. So it's like, how do you choose? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. We'll work it out. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. So if anybody wants to take me. <laughs> he got some Sky Miles on Delta or something. Help a sister out. <laughs> Not Sky Miles. <laughs> Please. I swear, I'm like, whatever. I'm convinced you can get over there because Vanel is the queen. Like, I won't say queen, but she is the unofficial ambassador of West Africa. I'm convinced. Yeah, I am absolutely convinced. If you go on Clubhouse at any time of the day, and you go to the like West African rooms. For some reason, whose name pops up in all of the rooms? They're and not so just intriguing. In well, okay, you know the funny thing is, but I think the other thing is because I like to laugh too much, like specifically Nigerians, and I I don't care where I am. I will say this forever: Black people are hilarious, but Nigerian people, I don't know what it is about their level of humor. Um, which makes me believe that we are descendants of West African people because black people are just as funny, but like Nigerian humor is, is, is on another level. And so when you understand, when you start to understand like some of their pigeon English and you understand the jokes, like it's just, it's just so funny. I, I would want to cry sometimes. It's hilarious. So I think that's what draws me to them aside from also the music. Oh my gosh. OMG. I love it. The Afro beats, the gospel Afro beats, the gospel worship singers. Oh my God. I love it. But yeah. But also my family in Rwanda is like, you better bring yourself over here. You remember Fidel and the, mm -hmm. they'd be like, they've been asking since 2018, like, what are you doing? So I got to get over there. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. It has to. Something's going to happen. The way things are going in the world, I might need to go there sooner than later find me somewhere to lay down because child it's a little crazy on this side so okay, yeah. as long as we petition heaven again and i get to <laughs> i get to appeal my last uh situation like hey god it's me your daughter ariel how you doing <laughs> boop, boop, boop. is this thing on hello hi <laughs> okay, I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need seriously we do i, I think if I could, I would, I can never think of where I would want to go first, but mm. I think I do want to go to Ghana. Like, I really want to see Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, I have to go to Nigeria because I'm pretty sure our dear Nigerian friends would be like, how dare you? How, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I've already told them like, oh, I probably, you know, go to Ghana first for various reasons. And then they're like, if you go to Ghana, you have to come and i'm like do i though <laughs> and they're like there's no way you're gonna cross the atlantic ocean come that close and not do you and i'm like no and then so what are you talking about so yeah yeah the nigeria thing is a must so Just, we'll see we'll have to make it a like some kind of something yeah when i have enough vacation time because Amen. Job. Amen. that too there's that too because hey somebody's got to pay for the trip so do what you got to do okay so i need before we go mm -hmm. i need some advice so my last episode i talked about going back to school you need some advice yeah i always need advice Lord. okay so you know i'm going back to school true 
what is your advice for someone of my age going back? Because what Vanel didn't tell you all is she has mastered her masters already. She has done it. So someone of my age. Someone of my age. You know, it's a little different when you go back. Okay. <laughs> When you go back post 30, it's a whole nother ball game. Post 30 is a whole nother ball game. But I'm trying to think, when did I do mine? Was I already 30 at that time? Who child the years? Who all the years they go by? I think I was pushing 30. So um funny enough, are you going? Is it gonna be fully online or you have to go into some classes? I have to go into some classes. So that's a good choice. Let me tell you something. Even pushing pushing 30, I thought for some reason that doing online school was going to be a better option, right? Because you want to work all day. And then in the evenings, that's when you have your time. No, that's not a good idea, especially for those of us who like are busy with ministry work and all those other things. Because who child? You really have to like be so disciplined to just like some nights I had to when I work was done, I would stay at my job till like 8, 9 p.m. Just reading or whatever, because I knew that once I left work, it was always going to be something, always going to be something. And so I sometimes I'm like, dang it, I should have went into I should have went into a program where I had to go in. But nevertheless, I did complete it. But I think that one um you do have to make up your mind that it is what you want to do. I'm not going to lie. I've only had, let me see. I've only had three nervous breakdowns in my entire life. The first time was when it was an undergrad and I didn't get the financial aid I needed to finish out a semester. And so I thought that I wasn't going to be able to go into the next semester. And I think I was like a junior. So that was kind of a very awkward place to be in that situation. And I think I was on home on break. And I think at one point, like I stayed in the bed for like two, two days. And I just was like, it's over, it's done. What am I gonna do? Um, Came out of that. The second time I had a nervous breakdown was probably when I was finishing my senior year, the last assignment. As a senior, you have to do like one last science class. The science class was horrible. We, we, it was called the history of the radio. And so we all went into this class thinking it was gonna be about the history of the radio. Baby, when I came in there and they was talking about frequencies and radio waves, and, and I said, wait, everybody was looking at each other like, what did we get ourselves into? And this is the last semester, we don't have nothing else to choose from. We had to stick through that thing and it was bad. And I think I had a nervous breakdown because I knew I didn't do well in that class. And I was just like, okay, I'm gonna fail this class. I'm not gonna be able to graduate. I cried <laughs> leaving that exam. I cried leaving that final exam. Um, the third time is <laughs> in my master's program, I, I was stressed. I was stressed because I decided to take two classes again online. This, this was also accelerated, right? So my courses were split into 10 weeks as opposed to like a traditional, like three month semester or whatever. It was like 10 week courses. Um, I decided to take two cause I wanted to catch up. Yeah. I did so bad on one of my uh, tests. I thought I was gonna fail that class and I cried. Like I really, really cried. And I think you have to know one, not to rush it. Two, take it easy on yourself because one, yes, you have taken some time off, right? Um, And three, this is not the end of the road. <laughs> like, you know, if everything doesn't go well, you can always dust yourself off. I mean, I was crying like this was the end of me. Um, but I think that's because, you know, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to feel like we want these degrees because we do know that in the, in the worldly sense, it does validate us when it comes to finding new jobs and advancing our careers and stuff like that and being able to build a more stable life for ourselves. But at the end of the day, our degrees are not what truly validates us in life. And so not to allow it to just overwhelm us to a point where we become depressed or constantly anxious because 
you know, we're not grasping something or you didn't, you know, you didn't do as well as you thought you wanted to. Um, so yeah, I mean, in all things, we have to be prayerful. Um, and I think God will give you the strength to succeed. And I know you will succeed because I mean, it's you after all. Um, but yeah, I said a lot, but yeah, go back and get the, the bullet points. I think yeah. <laughs> that's, all I got. that's what I got. I believe. No, that was good. And even I'm, I think that's pretty much where we can end the episode today because you said something that was really important and I know I needed to hear it and I'm pretty sure somebody else out there needed to hear it that a lot of times we think that moments are it and we make a moment the like definite defining point mm-hmm. of our mm-hmm. lives mm-hmm. instead of just taking it as what it is it's a moment right and life is just a series of moments correct and so some of those moments are good some of them not so good so great Mm -hmm. but the moment doesn't define who you are and it doesn't define your level of success because like you said like we are successful like Mm -hmm. as we are in the state we're in Mm -hmm. it doesn't Mm -hmm. matter about our accolades it doesn't matter about how much school we have it doesn't matter about any of that as we are today we are successful right because we're here like we're alive we've made it we're breathing Mm -hmm. whatever it is like you know all the different things like we are on planet earth on this day so Mm -hmm. we are successful because we are so i think that's like the best point to really end the episode with and just reminding everyone out there like you are successful because you are not because of a moment not because of a grade on a test not because mm-hmm. of the promotion you got at your job not because of any of that stuff like you're successful just because of mm-hmm. who. so walk with that energy today walk with that energy this week of knowing like i am so i'm mm-hmm. successful so yeah vanilla do you have any last words or things you want to talk about or whatever before we go really i'm just glad to be a part of the good morning love community i was so excited to be here and i think it's gonna make for a really great week actually um it was a great way to welcome in our our monday very light as opposed to the you know monday blues that most folks are used to i hope you got some jokes out of us um if not feel free to reach out we, you can come into our personal conversation anytime we'll give you some laughs we will we, mm-hmm. we have a lot of things that we can laugh at. a lot a lot trust me some more stories too like the fact that um her other brother yeah her brother that the same one whose wedding we went to named me ichiban i don't even know why but you know what i still use that yep I don't use that anymore as a password, but I used to use it as a password. And I, mean, I you can tell the whole world your password. Like. Nelly Ichiban because I wanted to be Nelly number one, and he told me the num- Japanese word for number one is Ichiban, and I literally was going around calling myself Nelly Ichiban, and that's who I identify as all the time. And it's just why I don't know, but it worked, and it was cool, and it's a thing, and. Yeah. People know me as Nelly Ichiban, and I just wanted to share that with you. Yeah. You're welcome. Shout out you to Chris. Japanese today. How about that? You're welcome. <laughs> Shout welcome. out to Chris for, name, for the nickname. Nelly. Yes. Ichiban. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> but yeah, you guys have a great week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting. I'm sorry. I got lost for words. I'm like, we really have just been through the most. My gosh. Okay. I know. But yes, thank you all. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. If you are in Boston, it is the 10th anniversary of the Boston Marathon bombing today. So we just want to send our love to the families of those who are affected by that. And we are grateful that we're Boston strong and we Boston have over, you know, and that again like we said it was a moment in time it happened but we are not defined by that moment we've risen above so has the rent but we're not going to talk about that um with that i am done 
Spurgard. Until until next time, you all. Enjoy your week. Thanks Enjoy your that. day. We'll have vanilla on another time. And Yay! Joke some more and laugh some more. But yeah. yes, I'll be back next week with another episode. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's all for now on Good Morning Love. You can continue talking with me on Instagram at Arielle Chanel or on Facebook at Arielle Chanel Music. Let me know what you think. And until next time, remember, always wake up with love.